So here we are. Hit the tee shot off the second tee here at Lilybrook Golf Club. Hit it in the perfect spot down the left-hand side. But the shot should be simpler than everybody plays this. If you look up by the green, you can see there's the overhanging trees from both the left and the right side of the green. Use what I call the window of opportunity. And if you think of anything that encroaches in your play, you have to play slightly away from, giving yourself two to three yards leeway. So the trees overhanging the green on the left, two to three yards in on that. The green trees on the right, two to three yards in on that. Your actual hitting zone is about five to six yards wide. So why don't you play the shot differently? Instead of flying it through the air to the green, the trees are about 20 yards short of the green. Why don't you play a shot that lands short of the overhanging trees and runs onto the green? So as you can see here, big overhanging tree on the right, big overhanging tree on the left, but underneath the trees, big area to land the ball. So you don't need to go up. So we're looking at landing the ball round here. And as you can see, now it goes under the tree line onto the green. In theory, by running that onto the green, by playing a lower shot, you have trebled the width of your landing zone. So instead of playing full through the air, just because the yardage states it's 170, play the same club, but chip it to run through the gap. So let's have a go. So you can see, all I've done is just push it forwards towards the hole, I've used a, a lofty club, but I've only chipped it, which keeps it low, and that ball has actually just run on to about pin high. 